Why is the market up despite all the chaos? Hello, everybody. This is Stocker Finance. I'm your host, David Scheuer. Twitter.com slash Stocker Finance for more information. Check out the Robinhood referral link below. If you'd like to support the channel, you'll get a free stock, and I will if you sign up using that link. So anyways, there's been lots of chaos happening, especially here in the United States. Um, we've seen the Capitol getting stormed, etc. And before I even get into that news, as well as the reasons for why the stock market is up despite, in fact, reaching all-time highs despite all this news, which is really interesting sort of a dilemma going on. But before we get into that, I want to just point out that politics aside, your goal as an investor is simply to increase the return on your investment to protect your assets. Dumbed down to the Wall Street bets version, your goal is to not lose money. And as Warren Buffett says with the rules of investing, his first rule is to not lose money, and his second rule is to never forget rule number one. So it's really important to not lose money. And the reason I'm saying that is because this video is really about understanding the markets. We're trying to figure out why the market is reacting in the way it is, despite what we see on TV. I mean, on TV right now, we're seeing complete chaos. Uh, we see people storming the Capitol. We're seeing uh, some of the highest, actually, we had the single highest death day for coronavirus which is pretty, uh, just, I mean, pretty wild here in the United States. You can see the map of cases in the last 14 days on the right there. North America here in the United States is by far the largest cases or the largest deaths from COVID in, in the world right now. And uh, it's just, yeah, just, the news does not look good. If you were to look at the news right now, you'd say the world is going to hell still, that we really haven't proved from that year of 2020. However, the stock market completely says otherwise. On top of that, we're also seeing people calling for the president's impeachment right now for him to step down. Uh, the Republican Party has some stuff going on. As, on top of that, we're seeing even our vice president and president have a little beef going on. So there's a lot of turmoil going on here in the United States, a lot of unrest. Uh, coronavirus is not necessarily getting better by any means as well, despite some of the vaccine news. However, despite all of that bad news, we're seeing the Dow Jones hit an all-time record high. We're seeing the S&P 500 also hitting an all-time high. So why is this happening? Why is the market up? And I've been asked this question quite a bit, both from friends, family, and from people here on the interwebs. And my first reason is that Biden has been confirmed into office. Now, you may see, you may have a question, like, why does that have anything to do with the stock market going up? Well, him getting confirmed into office means that there's less uncertainty. The market hates uncertainty. Now that we know exactly who will be president, there's way less uncertainty, and the market really likes that. We like to be able to predict the future, to know what's going to come, and less uncertainty is a positive for the market. So that's definitely one of the first reasons. The second reason is that the Democrats now have control of the Senate, House, and the presidency, and we may expect more stimulus. At first, you may have said, uh-oh, the Democrats control the entire you know government right now, Senate, House, and the presidency. A lot of people took that as a negative for the markets, but actually, they're really, uh, they've are been really fighting for stimulus, and that's going to help the economy significantly. Uh, it also is going to add on a lot of national debt, but it's going to help the economy from people spe being able to spend more money, businesses having more capital, etc., and the markets like that. The third reason is that China relations will improve with Biden. Trump's been very tough on China. And again, we're putting all politics aside here. We're simply looking at this from an investor's standpoint. How is this going to affect the markets? Well, number one, there's tariffs. There's been a trade war, or there was, uh, banning Chinese companies. Alibaba might potentially get banned coming up in the future and be put on that blacklist. So some huge companies, um, we might, might not be able to invest in them anymore as uh, citizens of the United States, unless you, I guess, go all the way to a Chinese exchange or something like that. But yeah, China relations will improve with the Biden presidency. I think the market definitely sees that as a positive. Now, my fourth reason, and this is more of a speculative reason. I don't think this is necessarily a huge reason for the market going up currently, as in like the past couple days. But I think overall, part of the massive bullish recovery, uh, just the massive recovery in the stock market as a whole from that March, uh, the March recession that we saw. I shouldn't say March recession, but the coronavirus collapse of the stock market, and we saw that about 40% decrease in the stock market there, because I think I think the recovery has been so quick, partly due to there's so much more capital in the market right now. There's more retail investors than ever before, especially people using Robinhood, and a lot of these brokerages making it extremely simple to purchase shares of companies. Stimulus and increased unemployment checks allowed for extra cash, which means people had extra money to invest in the stock markets. Many firms received PPP loans. I know a lot of investment firms, as well as companies, 
companies that received massive PPP loans, many of which didn't really need the PPP loans, to be honest. I have a family friend, uh, their company received a million dollars despite still being a profitable, perfectly running company in PPP loans. So that increased their capital, that allowed them to make further investments, etc. On top of that, international investors are more involved in the US stock market. We've seen tons of Chinese companies IPOing this year, as well as international companies IPOing this year on US exchanges. So I think for all these reasons, and these four reasons, is why we've seen the stock market at reacting the way it is. And the reason I'm going over all of this is because there's really always a reason. A lot of people think the stock market is some crazy mystery that it just goes up and down in circles. You have no idea what's happening. And it's really people treat it kind of like gambling. But at the end of the day, you have to do your research. You have to figure out exactly why the stock market is acting the way it is. And your investments as a whole, whether it's the real estate market, whether it's the stock market, whether it's commodities, whatever it may be, whatever asset class you're investing in, you have to know and understand it in order to take the correct action. So anyways, we've seen the uh, we've seen the S&P 500 hitting all times high. We've seen the Dow Jones hitting an all time high. And a lot of people think they're geniuses right now because of this massive bullish run we've been on. Everyone's having insane returns. But I just want people to be a little careful and make sure to do your research, not get too caught up in all the hype and make sure to really understand why the stock market is reacting the way it is, as well as any other um, asset classes you may be investing in. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Check out these videos as well as follow me on Twitter at Stocker Finance. I've been posting and tweeting quite a bit over there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.